Hi everyone, brand new exciting entry into the Peter Draws pen collection. This time we're doing it a little bit different, mixing it up a little bit. Uh, let me show you what we got here. Okay, I'm gonna lay down the broad strokes, the basic details before we get into all the little details so you know what we're working with. You pop it open, everyone gets a limited edition custom made Peter Draws sticker. I made these and they're on clear material. So that's really cool. And they only come with these pens. So that's the only way to get this sticker. And then you have the user guide and everything in here showing you how to refill the ink as usual. And then, oh, gorgeous. Peter Draws pen. This time engraved and the engravings are filled with silver. Got my, my signature up here. And then here on the barrel is a seamless doodle I made that has been engraved into the material and it just keeps wrapping around the whole thing. This one has a silver nib. I say this one because check out what's in the other box. Slides open like so. Beautiful. Where's the sticker? There it is. Got the sticker. I'm not sure what I want to put this on yet, so I'm just gonna store it right here. User guide, and then this one is the gold version. Oh, so shiny, and plus, I wanted you to be able to feel the drawing. Sometimes when I finish a drawing, I run my hand over the paper and I can kind of feel the lines on the paper. And now I can feel the lines on the pen because they're engraved. And I think it's beautiful. I love how it looks. Plus, uh, there's my signature. I'm really excited with how these pens turned out. So click the link in the description if you want to grab one of these. These are limited edition like all my other Peter Pen releases. For the golden one, there's only a hundred of them. You see here on the cap, I have number 81 out of a hundred for the gold one. And then the other 900 are the silver version. I have number 552. Go grab yours before they're gone. They are slightly more expensive than the previous releases because of all the, uh, the manual labor that had to go. I was working closely with Navalar and Goldspot to make these pens on the phone with them all the time, FaceTime calls, working out all the details. Uh, so I've been very, very hands-on with the development of these pens, which, which makes me very happy, okay? It's not just something I'm slapping my name on. And they've sent me pictures of the gold spot offices where they have like all these people around a table, hand filling the engravings with the, like with the gold and the silver. It's not obviously not real gold and silver. I don't think otherwise they would be really expensive. Uh, they're, and they're only uh, 10 and $20 more expensive. So go get you one. Thank you to all the people who have supported me by buying these pens in the past. I know uh, some of you have downright respectable Peter Pen collections going. And that's really cool to see. All right, and I put some ink in these. We've got, uh, I recorded it earlier, but I didn't hit record. So you don't get to see me putting ink in these. Orchid Flower, Atlantic Blue, Dark Forest, Mango Sorbet. I put the Orchid Flower in the silver pen. I put the Atlantic Blue in the gold pen, and it looks great. It's exciting. Never thought I'd see my own drawing on a pen. And then I can use a pen with, a, with my drawing on it to draw a picture. It's like a never-ending cycle. Thank you to everyone who buys one of these. I appreciate the support. It helps a lot. Thank you. Thank you, okay? Ta-da! Peter Pen. Let's try out a little two-tone drawing with these two Peter Pens. They're both fine nibs, but there is a selection of nibs available. I will say this pen is really cool to me, mostly because I... Well, first of all, I never thought I would have my own pens, okay? I jokingly talked about it to a lot of people, and this the fact that I have my own pen like this is still kind of weird to me okay i am at well maybe i'm not a regular person because i seem very weird to me but i am a regular person i just sit here 
Okay? I'm just sitting here. And I have a, a Peter pen. And it's not just like a pen that says Peter on it. Okay? I, I think it's pretty cool how many ways I added my art to this. Right? It has a drawing that I made wrapped around the barrel of the pen. It has my signature on the cap. And I included a little custom sticker. I made the box art. So I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Shout out to Goldspot Navalor for working with me on those things. So I don't know, just seeing where this ride takes me. And I will say I had to, I ha actually had to look at the little, if you're trying to fill your own Peter pen, had, these Peter pens have a built in piston mechanism, all right? You don't need to get like, piston converters or cartridges or anything you should get a bottle of fountain pen ink any fountain pen ink should do because there's like websites like gold spot there's just a whole category of this stuff at the top and there's a thousand different options all of it should work go pick something out to your heart's content that's you know i usually prefer just black ink but there is a wide sparkly sheening rainbow world of options for inks so there's a lot of room to have fun there, but I actually had to pull one of my old Peter pens out because I found out that I was usually relying on being able to see through the barrel of the pen to see which way turning the, the, the end of the pen, which way made the piston go up or down. It turns out the actual little pamphlet that comes with the pen explains it very clearly. So just look at that if you're having any problems. Turning it one way makes it go the piston go up which will pull ink into the pen through the nib and turn it the other way, makes it go down. But you don't really need to do that if there's ink in the nib, unless you're trying to empty it. But you do need to make sure it's down before it can go up. That's very important. Uh, another thing, there's a, little, there's a little wrench included with each pen, a little metal wrench that comes in the box. And once uh, you turn the back of the pen all the way in one direction, a little gap will appear, and that's when you can put the wrench in there, turn it, and disassemble the whole piston system, which is good if you want to do a deep clean. Uh, really, I would just suggest this for last dish, last ditch efforts. Like if your pen is really not working, if just soaking the nib in, you know, the, en the nib end of the pen in water for a, a, a while doesn't help or work, or if you really, yeah, maybe you got ketchup in your pen somehow and the ketchup's not working, it might, I'm not sure. I personally try not to take my pens apart. Most of them I never do to this level, and they just keep working fine. So, but it's just an option if you're wondering why that wrench came with it. And I know I know fountain pen collecting, buying fountain pens, especially weird one-off YouTuber artist ones like these, is not a, a hobby everyone can afford to put money towards. I appreciate everyone that does, but also I just want to take this minute to just say I appreciate all of you. I read... I read all the comments, okay? I'm just glad that y'all are here. It's been a, like I was saying at the beginning, I feel like I never expected to be here. Not just making pens, but I feel like I've been making videos for so long, and there's some of you that have been around for so long, and just thank you for, you know, tuning in. Some of you just watch and don't leave comments, and that's okay too. I see the little view numbers tick up, so appreciate you all being around, and if you do get a a pen be sure to like uh tag me on instagram or something love to see love to see your pens love to see the things you draw with them even if it's even if it's not with a peter pen uh people tag me all the time and i i don't get around to responding to every single message i'm sorry but it it's like it's weirdly encouraging to to see the stuff you, that y'all are working on out there so thank you let me know let me know if you have any questions about the pen it um it's roughly about a pen wide and a pen long, give or take, and it's uh, shiny and engraved, and you can draw pictures with it, write letters, put it in your pocket, keep it on your desk. Uh, if you know pen spinning, you could try that. I've tried pen spinning, did not work out well for me. Uh, actually, maybe only do pen spinning. I, I don't want to tell you what to do, but maybe only do pen spinning with the Peter Pen if you're like expert. To, to master level, maybe journeyman level, but 
at least my experience with pen spinning involved dropping a lot of pens on my desk on the floor. And look, the Peter pen is a sturdy pen, but that is excessive amount of impacts. Okay. So thank you everyone. Cheers to everyone who gets one and thank you and see you all in the next video. Have, have a good day. Goodbye. Good night. Sweet dreams.